Good morning, guys. I am excited right now. I just got an awesome package in the mail, and I'm about to show you what it is. Okay, I am super excited, guys. This is going to be awesome. I was just getting ready to go out and uh, film at a park and a few other things and I gotta show you these right now <laughs> so awesome here we go okay guys these are custom Nate guy bumper stickers check it out I'd rather be driving a bee friend <laughs> These are so awesome, guys. Now, hold on, let me open it up. There is one way, and one way only, that you can get a bumper sticker. And that is by becoming a Patreon supporter. Here we go, look at these things, guys. These are awesome. These are, I think it's 3.75 inches by seven and a half inches. I'd rather be driving a bee friend. <laughs> these are so cool. We got the B, we got me, we got that nateguy.com. Um, and these are really, really high quality, guys. I have had stickers made by the same company for years, um, ever since I started my skateboarding company. And if you remember when I had the, uh, the PT Cruiser, I had some of my stickers from Era Skateboarding on the windows, and they were on there for like, what, three years? They went through snow, sleet, hail, rain, everything, and all you had to do was wipe it off, and it's perfectly clean, perfectly clear, never faded or anything. These are awesome stickers. I've got everybody's address who is already a Patreon supporter, and just as a thank you for your continued support, I am sending everybody out one. And anybody from this time forward who pledges at least $5 a month will get a, uh, a bumper sticker. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, when you make a pledge on Patreon, it doesn't mean that you're, like, tied in for a year or six months or anything like that. You simply make your pledge, and you can cancel at any time. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month. You can pledge as much as $100 a month if you want, or even more for all of you who are rich out there. <laughs> However, if you want to get a bumper sticker, you have to pledge $5 and, uh, and give me your address and I will send it right out to you. I want to do things like this from time to time just to show my appreciation. I believe right now I have 10 supporters who will each be receiving one of these. I have 50 on hand right now. However, if by some miracle I should get more than 40 new supporters, um, I will gladly order another batch because these are just so cool. I wish I could stick one on my own bee friend. <laughs> That wouldn't make sense, though, now, would it? So, all right, guys, let's get out to the park, get a little bit of uh, exercise in, see if we can find some uh, some goose friends. And, uh, yeah, if you want one, follow the link to Patreon, and uh, I'll have one of these on the way. And, yeah, I mean, if, if you by any chance want me to sign it, because some people ask me to sign things, um, I'll be more than happy to do that for you, too.
back over here at the Veterans Memorial. <whistles> Thought I'd locked my keys in the car. I'll be back, B. <laughs> Gonna take a walk around here, see if we can find some goose friends. There's usually a lot of them around here. In fact, wrong way. <laughs> in fact, this is the last place where I saw a baby T-Rex, but I don't think it's that time of year yet. They just got done getting it on, so the baby T-Rexes will be coming in droves. <laughs> wow, there is a good handful of them down here, guys. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's about 15 or 20 of them down here that I see already. A nice gaggle. <laughs> Look at this one strutting right along. A couple of them over here behind the bench, making their goose noises. I wonder if they like warn each other when somebody's coming. Ooh, look at them all coming, guys. <laughs> These are some hungry geese. Let's hope we don't get attacked. Nice gooseys. Friendly geese. Ooh, look at how big and chunky this one is. Holy crap. I know. I want to be part of the team. Five more over here. And then, yeah, there's some more down here too around the edge. Hello, goose friends. I like your webbed feet. Webbed foot, web-footed friends. <laughs> Do you guys remember that song? Be kind to your web-footed friends. You got, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got another juicy robin. Crap, he flew away, but he's right over there on the edge. Got a robin on the edge. Anyways, it's a pretty nice day out here today. Obviously I'm wearing a sleeveless shirt the wind is blowing like crazy again though so i hope you guys can hear me all right it got kind of dark all of a sudden look at these clouds i'll bet you it's gonna rain again last night i went out to film uh i guess i don't need these <laughs> i went out to film some stuff at night and uh it started pouring i got one little shot done and then it all of a sudden just poured down. I sat there in my car for a little bit waiting to see if it was going to let up. But after about 10 minutes, it was still pouring. So, oh well, back home. Look at this bench over here. Excuse me, friends. I'm going to need you to testify. I'm going to need you to testify about who broke this bench. <laughs> Look at this thing. What in the world? The steel braces on the back of it are bent, like somebody was jumping on it. That is nuts. What is wrong with people? Still no fish friends to be seen anywhere. It's so weird. Oh well. Sometime I would like to go over to this uh, this Shaker Round Barn over there and just check it out. It used to be a restaurant, and now I believe it's some kind of a monastery or something. But it would be cool to go in there and just kind of see what it looks like in there. I'm so glad this nice weather is finally coming around again. I like coming out to the parks here, walking around. Why, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Goose. Peeking at me from the edge. Carry on. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, I like to come out here when the weather is nice and walk around these parks. Look, we got a couple of ducks coming to the edge over here. These are the first ducks I've seen over here. Ooh, look at these guys, they're going nuts over here. 
Holy crap, please no. <laughs> they apparently did not like the ducks coming over here, guys. I don't think you own the pond. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, they were like protecting their territory. That's too funny. A whole gaggle of geese ganged up on two ducks. That's not even cool. I love these two trees over here, guys. Well, there's, I mean, there's two trees over here that are like twins, twinsies. And then there's this one over here. This is the one that I said before was, uh, reminded me of Forrest Gump, the tree that Forrest and Jenny were swinging from. And look at the textures in these trees. We're not gonna go over to that one, but this one, look at the textures and all like the nubbies and that. I was pointing this out in, uh, in yesterday's video at the other park that, you know, this is something you don't really stop and look at. But look at this. It, it looks like a dinosaur or like elephant skin or something. Look at all the different shades and colors. That's pretty amazing. And the nubbies always make it look like, like faces that are trying to get out of the tree. Pretty cool. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish my lap here and uh, and get out of here before it starts pouring. Lots of goose friends out here today. Surprised I didn't get attacked by some of them. Wherever you guys are waking up, whatever time it is, make the best of your day. Do something for somebody else, pay it forward, and let's make this world a better place. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Peace out, duck friends. Peace. Peace out, goose friends. <laughs>